so my labor will start tomorrow. So far, I don't have any contraction or water breaking or anything. So I'll just go to the hospital and get induced and take epidural birth, which is pretty rare in Japan. But you know, nowadays, uh, more and more women take taking epidurals. So I have to say goodbye to this big, big belly. Finally, oh my gosh. Whew. Although there were some times I felt, you know, uh, unhealthy or incapable of certain things, but uh, overall, I really enjoyed being pregnant. It was really fun seeing a baby growing inside of my belly. It's been a really magical moment, but at this point, <laughs> baby is really heavy and uh, I really want this one to be out but anyways right now i'm packing for the hospital stay i'm taking two bags uh the big bag is for the uh, hospital stay and this is the mini duck bag <laughs> it's for the labor mainly things i can you know ease my pain and uh, make myself a little bit more relaxed during the labor and these are you know bath towels pajamas and charger this is a baby wipe you can flush into the toilet but this is actually for me because i'm gonna have stitches down there yeah so i think i have pretty much everything i need for the hospital stay and uh yeah hope everything goes well It's a really hot, humid summer day and uh, I arrived at the hospital pretty early so I'm kind of chilling out here Hopefully I can deliver pretty quickly although yeah, it still takes like uh, more than 10 hours um, But yeah, still can't really believe that it's happening to me I guess I just go there and then you know, follow the guidance of midwives and doctors and yeah, should be fine, right? <laughs> How are you feeling? It's pretty good. Thanks to Epidural. Mm. So, how long until the big moment? Um, a few hours. A few hours? We get to say hi to our son? Yeah. Finally. Finally. Too late. Thanks to everyone. He's a stubborn boy. So day one of the hospital stay, after the labor is done, today I didn't particularly film anything for YouTube because 
well, I was so freaking tired. I still am from the two days of painful labor. Believe me, even with the epidural, the labor was so much pain. So using epidural doesn't really work for everyone in every phases of the labor. To me, it worked for the last part of delivery, which is like, you know, pushing part, uh, but the contraction part, it didn't work for me. And then it was painful AF. I literally cried and with the epidural or without epidural doesn't even matter uh, the body gets so much damage from the labor so I need to take a rest and of course I had so many things to learn from midwives because uh, you know I need to learn how to take care of the baby but yeah I should go to bed Oyasumi nasai Well, good morning, ohayou gozaimasu. This is the day two of the hospital stay. Um, yeah, I know my face looks super puffy. My whole body is kind of swollen, especially my feet. <laughs> These ain't my feet. But anyways, I have a few more hours to get my baby back from the nurse station. And my childcare starts from there again. Well, they gave me a bunch of things for, you know, during this stay. If you are a guy, it sounds more like a TMI thing. But uh, after the childbirth, we get a lot of blood for about, you know, a month. Um, so we need a lot of parts like this. It's almost like period parts, but uh, kind of more medical and bigger. Also, mummy pad. <laughs> This is for nipples, those who produce too much uh, milks, you know, breast milk, body soap, shampoo, even face mask. <laughs> they also gave me that uh, formula and uh, that one is a sanitizer, but these are only for rent. And of course they gave me some diapers and uh, baby wipes and stuff like that. And I've just found that they also give me some acupuncture things uh, to fix my, you know, post-pregnancy body. That's pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. 